Try MP820 practice exam questions online for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central Developer Exam. 1. A company uses Business Central. The company plans to use a translation file in an extension. The extension has a caption that should not be translated. You need to prevent the caption from being translated. What should you do? A. Use the caption ML property and copy the same caption for each language used. B. Set the Generate Locked Translations feature in the AppJSON file. C. Add the locked equals true parameter to the caption. D. Delete the caption property. E. Copy the same caption for each language in the translation file. Answer. C. 2. A company plans to set up a local business central development Docker container. The environment will be used for testing new project ideas. You need to ensure that the most recent business central artifact URL has been selected. Which command should you use? A. Get bcartifact URL type sandbox select current. B. Get bcartifact URL type sandbox select closest. C. Get bcartifact URL type sandbox select next minor. D. Get bcartifact URL type sandbox select next major. Answer. A. 3. A company has a business central online environment. You need to create an HTTP GET request that connects to an external REST service. Which solution should you use? A. HTTP Content Data Type Variable B. Codeunit 1299 Web Request Helper C. Codeunit S459 JSON Management D. Code on it 1297, HTTP Web Request MGT. E. HTTP Client Data Type Variable. Answer. E. 4. You need to define the data types for the fields of the N on conformity table. Which two data types should you use? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Integer for the N on conformity number field. B. Date time for the non-conformity date field. C. Char for the non-conformity number field. D. Date for the non-conformity date field. E. Code for the non-conformity number field. Answer. D. E. 5. You need to allow debugging in an extension to view the source code. In which file should you specify the value of the allow debugging property? A. Settings. JSON. B.rad. JSON. C.app. JSON. D. Launch JSON. Answer. C. 6. A company plans to meet new regulatory requirements. The regulator has issued new tax tiers. You need to update the base application table by using a table extension. Which table field property can you change? A. Calc formula. B. Decimal places. C. Blank zero. D. Auto format type. Answer. B. 7. A company has a business central online environment. 
You are exporting a file from a client by using the download from stream method. You need to create an in-stream data type to send the data. Which solution should you use? A. Use OATLN stream method from code unit, temp blob. B. Use OATLN stream method for blob field of, temp blob, table. C. Use createln stream method for file type variable. Answer. A. 8. You create a page with the page type property set to role center. You navigate through the different sections of the page. You need to add functionalities to the page. What should you do? A. Define actions in the area, reporting, before actions in the area, creation. B. Define the navigation menu in the area, processing. C. Define the navigation bar in the area, embedding. D. Add a source table on the role center page. Answer. A. 9. You need to determine why the extension does not appear in the tenant. What are two possible reasons for the disappearance? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. The extension was published as a dev extension. B. The extension was not compatible with the new version within 60 days of the first notification. C. The extension was published as private. And the platform parameter was not updated in the application file. D. The extension was published as private. And the platform and runtime parameters were not updated in the application file. E. The extension was not compatible with the new version within 90 days of the first notification. Answer. B. D. 10. You need to determine why the debugger does not start correctly. What is the cause of the problem? A. The user parameter must have the GUID of the user specified not the username. b. The break on next parameter is not set to web service client. c. The user parameter is specified, and the next user session that is specified in the break on next parameter is snapshot debugged. d. The execution context asterisk parameter is not set to debug. Answer. Hey.